All right, guys, so I'm about to show you guys um, how to work on CapCut. If you're a YouTube creator and you're working on CapCut, you're probably doing it because it's user friendly. But there are some downfalls to it, mostly that sometimes it lags and it moves slower than you would like. And I'm about to show you some things that you may know of already, but hopefully some things that you don't know of, because it took me a long time, over a year, to uh, figure out how to speed things up. And I'm not a type of guy that does tutorials or whatever. I just learn as I go which could be a bit frustrating, but you guys won't have to because I'm gonna show you. Here you go. First thing, let's see, you go into, into file here, excuse me, Capcut, you go into settings, and then you're gonna go over here, you see this? I have this on, the turn on auto upload. Then you go into performance, you should have this checked, the encode, speed up hardware encoding, have that checked. You should have this right here. It tells you clearly automatically convert specific files to movie files to prevent playback lag. I had it off. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on for you guys. Boom, right there. And then you go into proxy mode because this will make sure that everything is done faster and you won't lose the quality of the video, but it's set for performance rather than quality. Once you export, then the quality will revert back to its original uh, place. And before you start your projects, I already started mine, so I'm not gonna clear this, but make sure that your your uh, your proxy size and all this is cleared, the cache is cleared, and then everything else here, you guys should probably already know, of. set it up however you like, the frame rates and stuff, we'll go into as well. I have it for 50 frame FPS, you can go into modify here, click that, then you go into here, I have it copy media to project because I've noticed that it was taking longer when I had it and to stay in original location because it's got to almost work twice as hard. And then here you go, going back to the frame rates. If you want it to go up faster, you change it, you lower it to 30 or whatever. But I did it and I prefer 50 is a minimum that I'll go. I prefer 60 to be honest with you, but I'll go 50. And you go in here and then you go on and you save. Oh, you go to performance. Sorry about that. And then you make sure that this is on the proxy files because this will speed up the performance all that you guys may know of and then you go here also you go into preview and you go into best performance over best quality again it won't affect the quality this is just for editing so all that you may know of but what you may not know of it took me a while as you go on to here right and you click you, you'll what you'll do is you'll go on to pre-process right this will speed everything up massively it's like it'll go by way faster but you won't be able to pre-process until you edit some things out out of here and i'll show you what i mean by that you see this little thing here the icon pro you click it and that'll remove filler words repeat pauses and all that you click on that and then you see what you want to uh, remove, maybe a filler word or whatever. All it takes is one, one filler word to remove. Um, and then you press, go, you go ahead. I'll, I'll show you guys look how to do it. You go here. These are already pre-processed. These aren't. So look, I'm clicking. If I want to do the pre-process, look, it doesn't allow me. What I was telling you guys, you have to at least do one edit before you pre-process. Something as simple as remove filler words. That's all you do. Once that's done, okay, I'll go ahead and do it. Look, boom. Remove filler words is analyzing now. Once this is done, it, hopefully it doesn't take too long. Oh, there you go. That's quick. You see all this is what you'll be able to remove. If you don't want, if you love the, the way your video is and you don't want to remove anything, at least remove one thing for the sake of speed. Some this small, you know, right here. Look, you go right there. Boom. You see, I'm about to click here. So you guys can see. And then you remove it. And then that will allow you to pre-process. So I'm gonna cancel right now because I don't wanna work on the project yet. You do that, and once you do that, then this here will be ready to pre-process like it is here. This one's already pre-processed, you see? Pre-process, so you go there. Well, this one's not, but this one is. See, undo pre-process. So this one is not, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what you do. You do this, you press pre-process. There you go. Now it's gonna pre-process the video. It'll take five seconds to pre-process. And once you do that, then the flow of editing should speed up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I made it kind of long, a lot of 
talking stuff, but I had to tell you guys exactly what to do and show you guys how to do it so that, you know, hopefully it works for you guys and you guys don't go through the same frustrations that I did, which is was very frustrating. I threw my hands up a couple times, not wanting to work because I couldn't even create one video because everything was so slow. Called the internet company, reached out to CapCut. The internet company came here. They they um, changed the the router. They I even went back to the plug-in internet to speed things up. Turns out it wasn't that. It wasn't that. It was uh, CapCut, and it was these little things that helped me to speed up the process. I'm a novice, guys. I'm I'm a novice. I've just been doing this for a couple of years. This YouTube thing, and I'm learning as you guys go. So if you guys enjoyed that, please give this video a like and share it. Share it with someone that uses CapCut or someone that's a new YouTube creator that wants to use software to edit their videos, make them cool, modern. CapCut is fun, guys. It's a fun editing software. You could add all kinds of effects. If you guys see my videos, especially the ones where I'm scootering, you'll see that you know I do add crazy effects. Nothing. I wouldn't say it's professional work. It's fun work though. I love to create and as I go, I am becoming more professional. I'll learn as I go. And to all my followers that, and subscribers that I have now, thank you for bearing along with me. I know that this could be kind of stressful, especially when you go through some videos and you're like, oh man, this is kind of boring. Cause I go through them and I see, man, that's boring. I gotta redo this video. But there are some good ones there where everything came as, as I liked. Hopefully you guys get a chance to look at those. You don't like the boring ones, I don't blame you, but just understand I'm gonna make better videos. The world is a big place and I have a lot of countries to travel to. I'm in country number, well, I'm back home now in Spain, but I've been to 39 countries. This year was one of the best years of my life for in October, 2024. And I went to so many countries, man. I've been everywhere this year. And so this is the, the end result right here. I'm doing Thailand, so. Stay tuned for a video, dude. And if you guys like this one, like I said, please share, subscribe to support me, man. And hopefully I can inspire you guys to start your own YouTube channel. And whatever it is you want to do, trust me, the world wants to see it. The world wants to know of it. The pe people are, are into genuine things. We're tired of the fake Instagram life that a lot of people lived. And, you know, we want to do our own selves, our own things, whatever it is, even if it's just you doing uh, carpentry work, you know, woodworking in a rural town in Montana, whatever it is that you like doing, do it and use a cap cap cut. It's a very uh, simple editing software. If you're not, if you don't have a technical brain like this, like I do or whatever, but you are creative and this might be the, the software for you to try out, you know? So it's not as complicated as other ones out there as Adobe and stuff like that. I may move to Adobe in the future, but right now, I just can't, you know what I'm saying? So I'm staying in a cap cut. All right, guys, much love. God bless.